coriander. Yeah. Whoa! Like, yeah, but then you will only taste the bad part about it. <laughs> that shouldn't be a bad part. <laughs> Yeah, this yeah, shouldn't, shouldn't be a bad part. Welcome back to our Dutch beer tasting challenge. Ooh, challenge. Yeah. Okay, challenge. I guess it's a challenge now. Something <laughs> yeah. special. It's becoming a challenge. Yeah, yeah it's, it's becoming, becoming a challenge, challenge now. Yeah. Um, and we have some snacks. Yes, we got ourselves some snacks. Yeah. And here we have some bottle notes. I guess this is also pretty Dutch. Yeah, this is super Dutch. Last episode, we tried some standard Dutch beers. And now we're going to try some special Dutch beer. Some challenge. Challenging Dutch beers. Okay. I don't think I've ever tried any of this before. Me neither. I'm super excited. Um, not me. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the beers we have here today. I don't know how to pronounce this, but I'm gonna okay. try. Bruch Bruce Zot. Westmalen. And Lachofe. Lachofe. I guess I'll just pronounce Lachu. And then Kyotokia and Grand Prestige. So last time we already tried like the standard beer of this brand. Now this is a special version. Mm -hmm. And then here we have <laughs> Trappistus Rochefort. Yeah, Rochefort. Rochefort. You need to say the number as well. Ten. Teen. Teen is ten in Dutch. I already know that this one is good. The Eight. rest I don't know. Okay, Wait, so, so Sixa, how do you actually say it? You from pronounce and then we pronounce it. Okay? Uh, from the first one. Brugse Zort. Brugse Brugse Again? Brugse Brugse Zot Zot Westmalen Westmalen La Chouf <gasps> I got yeah, it right! right! La Chouf La Chouf Grand Prestige Grand Prestige <laughs> Yeah Rochefort Team Rochefort Team so these are the special beers that we are trying today. We have mm -hmm. five of them. So what is this again? Bruges Zot. Bruges Zot. Bruges Zot. So this type of beer comes from a Belgian line. And one of those beers, which was called the Levesault, was given to me for my birthday by my friend. He was called Marco. I really like the beer, so thank you Marco still. <laughs> Even though I don't talk to you anymore. <laughs> it's one of the more lighter beers in this, uh, in this line. Series? Because I know that Nero likes lighter beers. Beers than darker beers. <laughs> <laughs> and what is the percentage of this? Six percent. And standard beers, they are five percent, right? Yeah. Mm. Wait, what's the price? One seventy-five for one bottle. So special beer. beers, they don't sell in crates. No. Bro. Wow. It's more gassy. It's more it's bitter. It's but it has sweet way too. better taste though. Yeah, than it's all sweet the other too. Sweet yeah, side. yeah. I think it's very gassy though. Yeah, it's very mm. gassy. Mm. I like this one. Mm. I like kind of cool. Wow. Why? Uh? Because those are like the. This is way more bitter. The taste is still way better than the standard beer. Yeah. Yeah. You will see that with all these special beers, they all mm -hmm. taste very, very different. I'm not really a person for light beers. Okay. okay. This is one of the light beers that I can handle. So I would buy this sometimes. But if there is another darker beer that I can choose, then I would choose that over this. But this is way better than a standard beer. That's also why the bottle it, is like three times more expensive yeah. than normal. <laughs> I had this one at a bar once and it was like six euros. When you can Whoa. get it for like 175 at Al Rahim. Oh wow. wow. They like overcharge so much. It's always cheaper when you get it from the yeah. supermarket. So next up we have Vesmala, please tell us about Vesmala. Well, yeah. so I've only had this beer once or twice, but I remember it because I worked at a supermarket. Uh -huh. And I worked at like the place where you put your glasses in, mm. and on the other side. <gasps> so I had to put them away. Oh my god. But these bottles were always very weird because they have this weird ring yeah. okay. around. Uh -huh. Their neck. Yeah. If you do the like makeup guru. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only bottle that has that. Mm. Okay. So that's why I remember it. But mm -hmm. when I tasted it, it's pretty good. So I hope you guys like it. But uh, okay. this one is one ninety five per bottle. One ninety five, and oh. it's nine and a half percent. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> so everybody. Pro. Yeah, I like it too. You do? Yeah, like the first 
just say that again. You have to keep it in your mouth. You don't need to swallow it in one go. <laughs> but the aftertaste is bitter. No, if you if you swallow it in one go, you will not taste it. No, I taste it. Yeah, but then you will only taste the bad part about it. <laughs> shouldn't be a bad part. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, shouldn't be a bad part. Do you like that? I like it. I like Do it. You? Yeah, it has a sweet taste. That's yeah. like a bitter sweet taste. That tastes this sausage, <laughs> which makes it bad. Huh? <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go for la choux. Is this French or something? Yeah, but I think it's still Belgian, but from the southern part. Wait, hold on. Are these Dutch or not? The Hertogjan is Dutch, mm -hmm. uh, but most of them are actually Belgian. Belgian. Okay. They so they're not Dutch they special Dutch players. like me. No, I would have. So they're like sold in Dutch. sold in the Netherlands, yeah. but not necessarily like Dutch special beers. So what about La Chouf? It's a light beer, so it's still a little dark beer. Mm. Le Bifumero. Yeah. <laughs> it is 8%. So it's lesser than this. Lesser than the West Mala, but it's still a nice beer. Let's try it out. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, it's $1.99. It's increasing oh, in price. Oh, it literally has the word Belgium on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can see that it's darker though. Da, 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 da. It looks oh. murky. Gross. Gross. Ate too much sausage. No, no, I didn't. No. I do actually like this one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you like citrus. Yeah. It has a different like after. You don't like it. <laughs> oh, it has coriander. Yeah. Whoa! I was like, I can taste some sort of like, I can taste sausage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really taste coriander. Or at least smell coriander. Yeah. Smell it, smell it. I don't know. It's like herby. I like the fact that it has coriander in it. How do you like it, Ariel? I like it. But I feel like everything is very special in itself. Yeah, they yeah. all taste very different. Yeah. That's why I chose these beers. Whereas those, like the normal ones, they mm -hmm. all taste kind of similar. They yeah. Are. Let's try... Grand Prestige. Grand Prestige. <gasps> oh, it's so dark! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look, 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 look. Yeah, look at the color. It's not a beer color at all. It's like rum. <laughs> it's like Coke. My you guys God. just want to get me drunk. You're fucking boring so much. <laughs> it's because we're like, you have to like this. Yeah. Like, but then we keep doing it, so you're drinking like half Why? of each bottle. Yeah. yeah. Gross. 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 I like it. Yeah, I like it. It's actually not that bad. Yeah. Mm. No. No, it's, it's just, sweet. I, well, see, the thing is, you can really taste the alcohol. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did. I think that's the one thing that's throwing me off a bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't really but, taste the alcohol. Yeah. You can't I, really taste that it is beer. It's like yeah. weird because you can taste this beer, but you can also taste the alcohol. Yeah. Because like with most beers, you don't really taste alcohol. True. Mm. Like Heineken. Yeah. Because with like... <laughs> I don't think I agree. I think you can taste it. It's very heavy. Yeah, yeah. No, but I don't think you can taste the alcohol. It's not like vodka. No, no, no. There's like that fermented taste. With the normal beer, you mm. don't really taste that. Yeah, mm. like kind of. There's yeah. something about it. You, you just it's don't like how drink. heavy it is. Yeah. But it's also because we need to move on to the next beer pretty quickly. Normally, you would drink this beer like slowly and very yeah. slowly. Oh. Oh. I think it tastes okay. But I think I still prefer normal beer. Yeah, like Heineken. Yeah. <laughs> this is $0.85 cents per bottle. That's super cheap. I don't really like this beer. This is the cheapest among the rest? or what? Yeah, so far. Okay, last one, everybody. Tell us about the... Rochefort Team. Rochefort Team, yeah. So Rochefort is, of course, a French name. But it is from Belgium. This is one of the first beers I drank when I became 18. Okay. And you became oh, 18. 18. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, it's 11.3%. Wow, okay. And it's a dark beer, and this one is, well, what you would say for a beginner, pretty hard to get into. For a beginner? <laughs> let's like, see, let's see. When you just start drinking beer. Yeah, but like, I have been drinking beer, and I still don't like dark beers. That's because you have to get into it. <laughs> Oh, this one's even darker. What? Everybody, this is the last special beer that we're gonna try today. The grand so, finale. Gross. 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 Wait, it's easy to drink. No, no this. it's not. 
It is. It's sweet. It has a different taste. No, the aftertaste that goes to my nose, I don't like that. But I like it until my throat before it goes to my nose. I really don't like it. Oh, it's my really God. strong, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it because I don't. I like don't it. like swallowing it at all. But like the taste is pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Just look at me. There's a part where it has uh, some kind of taste. I think okay. what, what Arister is trying to explain is called hope. Okay. It's called the hope of the movie. Okay. So it has been brewed with hope, which has a very particular taste. So what is hope in English? Uh, hope is just an ingredient that they use. Oh. 285. So this is 285 way more expensive compared to the rest. So this is the most expensive one and also the one with the highest percentage. <laughs> Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's three. Four. I think I like this one best. And then maybe this one. And then actually this one because it has a special taste. This one and this one. One. Whoa. Two. Whoa. I really <laughs> like it. Two. I three. think this is gonna be a close one. Four and five. For me, this is gonna go as first. <gasps> what? This will be second. Looks so short. My small is gonna go as four. Like I like La Chouf, but it has the citrus thing that it's based yeah. on. And I don't really like the taste of that. The first what? one goes to Hartogian. And the second one goes to Rochefort. What? <laughs> No, I and do not agree with this. To... Okay. So this is the result of our ranking today. Apparently this got first, so the Kian. It's definitely dark bears because first and second are dark bears. Whoa, what the <laughs> hell happened here? <laughs> this tastes very different That's compared weird. to the others. Like more special. special. Mm -hmm. Do you guys like normal beers more than yeah, special beers? I like normal beers. The thing is you can't drink these regularly. You have to drink one. Yeah. And then be like, that was my drink. Like normal beers, you can drink like three or four and like, still want more. I like my special beers on a good night. Yeah. When I'm spending it with a couple of persons. Like today? Like today. Like today. Whoa! <laughs> but when I spend it with a lot of people, so like on a party, it's definitely just going to be standard beer. If you drink a special beer that fast, like mm -hmm. you would do on a party, it's not that special anymore. What about you? Standard beer or special beer? Probably standard, like high end. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. If you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and share. 记得点赞、订阅、分享，还有要开小铃铛。Okay, say in that. Like, subscribe, <laughs> and share this video. What? Yeah, that's really how you say it, though. Yeah. Nou, like als the... jullie deze video leuk vonden, zorg dan voor dat je deze video liked, shared, druk vooral op de bel icon. Nou. Als jullie het leuk vinden, um, tot de volgende keer. Tot de volgende keer. You. 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 You means bye, by the way, guys. So thank you for watching this video, and I hope you like it. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. bye.